Welcome to Twilight Talks with Brian Reagan and Tyler Kelly. And tonight we are in Matthew chapter 24. And Tyler, if you'll read verses 40 through 44. Then two men will be in the field. One will be taken and the other left. Two men, women will be grinding at the mill. One will be taken and the other left. Watch therefore, for you do not know what hour your Lord is coming. But know this, that if the master of the house has known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched and not allowed his house to be broken into. Therefore, you also be ready for the Son of Man is coming in an hour you do not expect. All right. And again, this shows that the contrast between what's being talked about here for the coming of Jesus at the end of time is different than the coming of Jesus in judgment against Jerusalem. Because as a rule, a thief does not send you a text message, a phone call, an email, and a tweet saying, I will be at your house at 2.04 a.m. to rob you. They just, they don't. And they don't make a lot of noise uh, when they get ready to do thievery. And that's kind of that point there. But I want to address uh, a couple things on this. The fact is that what is talked about back over in verses 15 through 28 obviously has to do with something that is different than what is talked about in 36 through 44. Because Jesus says two will be in the field, one will be taken, the other left. Two will be grinding at the mill, one will be taken, and the other left. This is very different than Jesus saying, don't go back into your house, get out of the city. And if you're out in the field, don't go back into town. Two very different things. When Jesus says one will be taken, the other left, he is talking about his return. If, if, if what's being spoken about in 15, ultimately 15 through 31, if that was talking about the return of Jesus at the end of time, Jesus' instructions would make no sense. Because he's over here saying one person will be taken up and someone else will be left. And you can't take that literally. That means that only two kinds of people are going to be taken. Women grinding at meals and men working in the field. And only 50% of farmers and 50% of mill workers that are women will be saved. If you over-literalize this. Okay? But uh, the, the point there... This, this thing when Jesus comes again, you cannot escape. Just like the days of Noah when the flood came, you cannot escape it. But what's talked about in verses 15 and following, that you could escape. Two totally different things. Two totally different things. Do you have some thoughts on this, Tyler? No, sir. All right. And so verse 44, like Jesus says, be ready for the Son of Man's coming an hour when you don't expect it. There's no sign. What's the sign for Jesus' return? Zero. You say, I thought you said the church was a sign. Yep. Just like Noah's big boat sitting in the middle of nowhere waiting for a flood to come. So is the church of Jesus Christ in the world sitting right there as a sign saying, he's coming back. And people go, man, it's been 2,000 years. And Second Peter chapter 3 says that. Scoffers will come saying, when's he coming back? It's been a long time. Yeah. So just something to cogitate. Hopefully this makes Matthew 24 make a little bit more sense if you've ever struggled with it. And, of course, we'll finish out the chapter. Um, with the faithful servant and the evil servant and all that. But uh, have a blessed night, brothers and sisters and friends. And if you have any questions, always feel free to email us, Lake Butler Church of Christ at gmail.com or send us.